All right, so next we're going to go ahead and break down the changes that happened for the Galactic Republic. Go ahead and take the wheel here, Marcel. All right. Um, so with the Republic, we're going to start off with it. Well, for starters, we've got negative. We've got a lot of blue on the screen, a lot of negative points on, uh, on the board. I think only three in total went up and almost everything else went down. Um, and spoiler alert, it is as a faction that doesn't have as many ships as the Rebels or Scum or FO, it has negative 77 points combined. I think it's the second most drop for a faction. Okay, so we're going to start off with the R, uh, the ARC 170s, and the sinker went down by one, so did JAG. I think those two, are, we really don't see much of them. I think we used to see sinker swarms at one point um, from 54 to 53. I don't think it makes that big of a difference. I think you're still better off taking either wall for oddball for, for, those, for lesser points, or even just dropping down all the way to the um to the 42 point one of fourth battalion which didn't change but that's because that that already gets a lot of play anyway um will next are the y wings which these y wings did not lose their gunner slot is that correct so these y that is correct still, yeah yep okay so these these y wings kept their gunner and the Anakin Skywalker went down by three points from 53 to 50. Um, a little bit better, actually. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a decent drop. I think if you go back, it uh, started out at 60 points when it first launched, uh, when it was first released July of, last, uh, July of 2019. Wow. July of two years ago. Mm. And over the two years, it's gone down 10 points total to down to 50. And I don't think we'll see a lot of it yet either. There's just um, not because it's a bad ship. I think just because uh, uh, with everything else going down, there's just so many better choices that the Republic has. Uh, Matchstick went down by one, and so did Oddball from 40 to 39. Now, real quick, like, what's it going to take for Anakin and the Y Wing to see play? Because I think I saw it like people trying it when it first came out because it was new mm -hmm. and shiny, and after that, completely gone. What's it going to take? How how uh, cheap's it got to be? <laughs> I think it's. I, I think more than what's it going to take, more than a, more than the points of Anakin itself, is a. Like some way, I don't know because um, it, because it wants, it, it wants to be it's a torpedo carrier. It, it has to have yeah. a. The only way for Anakin to really be worth its points is as an initiative six, alpha strike, uh, mm -hmm. and by that point you're at the very least putting the plasma torpedo on it at fifty seven, uh, maybe a proton torpedo, which is really what you want at sixty two, and now you've you've got a sixty two point Y wing, um. So I don't I don't know what it'll I think it'll need some type of title or some type of uh, damage mitigation or something to keep it alive long enough. But can I, I suggest a long range turret so it doesn't actually have to be in the fight to contribute? A long range turret that shoots three dice twice. A turn. <laughs> Stop three it. dice Stop twice, it. and he Stop can it. modify it with his force a whole bunch. <laughs> I mean, it sounds right to me. Well, yeah, that would that would work. Republic only, sure, but but okay, yeah, sure. It, it, so, it's a turret, a turret that takes your gunner slot. What do you think about that? Mm, uh, interesting. That turret that takes your gunner slot only on well, turret, Republic. Turret, turret and gunner, but yeah, I don't know. Someday, someday, Anakin. I don't know. I, I, I don't think it'll see play still um, with these three points. And again, just um, you, you got you get so many other better toys for the same amount of points. Um, if you, you know, just going down a little bit to the to the to the ones that are right below this, which are the Delta Seven, the Aether sprites. Um, you know, there you've got almost all of those ships in, in the forties. And even without calibrated or um, the Delta Seven title, they're probably still better than An than Anakin. Mm -hmm. um, and then you give them either calibrated or or Delta Seven. It's just not even not even close. Mm -hmm. But 
going back to the uh, Delta Seventh, the um, yeah, they all they all got a significant point cost drop, so of negative two. Uh, so f everything from Anakin to Obi, Mace, Plo, Ahsoka, Luminara, Seisei, and Varys Ophi uh, all went down by two. However, if you scroll down to the Delta 7 title, uh, not a title, configuration, uh, it went up... Um, it, it went up for the initiative three and if i'm not mistaken the initiative four as well so the initiative threes went from wait one two actually the initiative three went down right no no so the what you're looking at is that the i6 stayed at 24 yep the i5 stayed at 20 the i4s which is most of the jedi went, went up from 16 to 12 Mm -hmm. Well, from 16 to 17, and then right. the I3 went from 12 to 14, and then they put uh, a 6 and a 10, which just makes you wonder, okay, do we have something, Initiative 1 or Initiative mm -hmm. 2, coming at some point that might be able to equip a Delta I think, 7? I think they've always had that number in there, though. Like, they always counted to zero when, when the initiative scaling. Mm, maybe. Uh, but, yeah, if you do the math, the... Uh, initiative fives and the uh, Anakin, Obi, Mace, Plo, Ahsoka, Luminara, and Barasophie all got a points decrease, uh, either by negative two or negative one. And then the Jedi Knight actually went up by one point. So they used to cost 49 points to field them, uh, just with Delta Seven. And now, if you want to field a, a generic Jedi Knight, with Delta Seven, you're going to be paying 50 points, so uh, they kind of offset each other and uh, end up with a net net positive or a net plus one. For now, real quick here, I, w sorry, something that I, that I that I noticed that we didn't bring up, we did see going back to the Y wing. The Y wing did mm -hmm. go up one point. Is is that because we've been seeing? Because when we are seeing this Republic Y wing, we're seeing it in spam, right? Times five. Mm -hmm. Right, so yeah, that uh, potentially mitigates some of that a little bit. I'm just, I'm not sure how those points work out off the top of my head. Yeah, but I think yeah, because um, you usually saw them with dorsal turret and either ions or, or thermals or a mm -hmm. combination of, you know, three combination of bombs. Um, the bomb, the bombs went up with the thermals, and I, I think that's just something across the board that they're they, they're trying to do is they're. You know, most of the lowest initiative or the, the lowest generic versions of almost everything got bumped up, which mm -hmm. is is just pointing to them trying to stop people from basically taking the, the lowest one and spamming it with, like, the same upgrades and just five of the same for the same, which I appreciate. I, I, it's... Um, just having the same lists, or not the same list, but having a ship of <laughs> or a list of all of the same ships with all the same upgrades, um, over and over and over again. I know somebody who would have pretty, a dissenting opinion. It's a pretty cool guy who would have a dissenting opinion. I believe he's right above you. If you just look up. Feelings, angry face. <laughs> <laughs> Am I piped in? Can the audience yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Okay. But yeah, um. Well. I don't I think, think he minds on the uh, on the Republic side. Uh, I, 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 let's put it this way. After the points update, I made a list. I checked it twice. I found out what generics AMG thought were naughty and nice. And um, there's it, it. It seems e equal at some points. We can get to that later on. But there's 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 a general feeling that uh, FFG may have had their uh, test of more generics available, and community said they don't want it. So AMG says we're going to go the opposite direction and see how that works out, lowering the cost of a lot of named ships, even at lower initiative, to help incentivize taking those over the generics, probably promoting more of a mixed arms than a uh, same chassis. Yeah, I agree. 
and I like it too. Um, and then we drop down to the ETA 2, and those are the ones probably that, that, that make, not probably, those are the ones that have the biggest change, um, specifically with them losing their cannon. So no more automatic crit auto blasters with the R7 droid and marksmanship. Basically um, changes the way that these ships are completely. I mean, it, it, it completely turns them from what they used to be, uh, which is, again, just trying to get, you know, basically saying you, you've got to point at me or else you're going to take some auto damage. Um and now they actually have to do damage the old-fashioned way, which is rolling dice and hoping that the opponent rolls blanks or you roll more than they do. Uh, they keep all of their regular slots, and because they're losing the cannon, they also lose uh, went down in points uh, pretty significantly. Uh, Anakin went down to 51 points. Again, if you're looking at Anakin and the ETA or ETA or whatever you want to call it, Compared to the Anakin and the Y Wing, that's only one point difference. Like, why would you ever spend one point less to go from Eta Anakin to Y Wing Anakin? Hey, you, you, five more health. Yeah, with I'm one agility, saying. and you can't move, and you, you got. I mean, this one has a force, a talent, three agility, three dice out of the bullseye, and it can K turn, not K turn, but it can talent roll without stress. Um, An Anakin has a purple K turn if he wants. Yeah. yeah he and Obi if he's in the same list. Yeah, I mean, it's just no... Um, yeah, there's no reason not to take this ship over the other Anakin if you've got 50 points. All right, uh, so I have, a, I have a question, though. I have a question. So yeah. with, with this Republic stuff... You're right. the The function of the ship has changed, and I know I know there's some people out there who are shook that it loses the cannon slot. Okay, and I I'm not saying that I agree. I'm simply being the voice of the shooken. Okay, of those that have been shook. All right, because the question is now: How does this ship function in a list if it so if it's not doing the auto damage? So I think you know one of the re one of the things that these these ships all of these ships have very good well all of these except maybe the the Jedi general have really good support uh, roles so Obi Wan being able to get Anakin or itself a free focus not a free focus but a focus for force Yoda is basically just strictly support you know you you want to refill your your force or do whatever it is that Yoda does. Um, I forgot what it does. Nobody ever flies them, but it's support and it's bad support, but it's support. Ayala, uh, same thing. Ayla or Ayala, whatever. Um, she also, I think she's the one that at range one, she can limit the amount, basically get rid of the range bonus that happens on herself, but also help it happens against friendly. No, um, it, she's more of a Concord Dawn style thing. A enemy ship in her Firing arc at range zero to one, um, the defender can change a blank to a focus. So she needs to have someone in the zero to one. But yeah, it affects the defender of whatever yeah, that so ship is shooting. She's still so helping it's a out. It's concord on kind of effect because the sh if you're shooting at a bunch of Adas or other things that have force, it's going to be an evade anyway. Gotcha. But it's still a support. And then Shakti, we know Shakti being able to keep tokens for herself or tokens for friendly. Um, however, again. They still have three dice out of the bullseye, and they still you can throw a predator in there. You can throw other other toys in there. Now, what I've been toying with, uh, not toying with in on on the board yet, but just in my head, is the new droid that came out for them. Which we, which one is it? Um, the the maybe? obstacle one, the Q seven. Yeah, is that the one? It's it not, didn't come yeah. out with them, but you said well, they, it came out with the V wing and maybe the Ada as well. But yeah, okay, it was, well, it was that... a little expensive. Went down to three though. Yeah, so that one went down to three, and since they have both a droid and a talent slot, you can throw the Q seven and trick shot on there. It's a it's a it's a seven point combo, but essentially if you line up next to a rock you can you can potentially turn 
the side, you know, not the bullseye into a, a four die attack or the bullseye into a five die attack at range two or three or into a five and six die attack at range one. And then the ETAs with their ability to be able to reposition before moving, that, that basically makes them a better blackout because you're basically parking them behind the rock. You're giving them two extra dice to shoot through that rock. And then the next turn you can reposition yourself out of it with, you know, the um, their native ability, their, their intuitive when controls you, or whatever. When you say two extra dice, maybe maybe it's not the droid. Are you thinking of shattering shot for the force power and trick shot that one, as the that talent? One. Oh, okay. Shattering I was shot. like, um, I, 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 I can see say. using Q7 to move and barrel, because it allows you to boost and barrel. What, what does Q7 obstacles. do? While you barrel roll or boost, you can move through and overlap obstacles. Yeah, not that one. I was talking about shattering shot. Yeah, the one that mm. you spend the force to add a focus result. Yep. So with trick shot and shatter shot or shattering shot or whatever they call it, you're essentially adding two um, dice through a through an obstacle. So it turns their you know it, you fly them differently, but now you can park them behind the rock. You can find, you know, you you can basically play with the obstacles a little bit, and shoot four and five die attacks uh, through obstacles, and then even if you park right in front of it, their ability allows you at system phase to barrel roll left or right and not take the consequences of doing that. So I think that's, um, um, I don't like I said, I've been playing it within my head, and mm -hmm. I you can fit four of them. You can fit uh, Ayala, Obi, Shakti. And I think a general with that loadout. Uh, so you have four of them, five, five, four. As a note, the general doesn't have trick shot. Oh, wait. Yeah, the general. Because it doesn't have a... Uh, Actually, no. The way I loaded it was three of them. And then I had um, another ship that was just, I think, like a, like a V-wing or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but three maybe? of them, yeah. yeah probably. Those, those, those Adas already are almost indestructible if you have to shoot through especially a gas cloud but if you have trick shot and shattery shot yourself you can overcome that back against your opponent pretty well. yeah because you're throwing two extra ones against them so so there's there's things that you can do with them um and again i i i'm interested to see how that plays out because one of the downsides of that obviously is that you're starving yourself for force mm -hmm. uh because you're spending force and then on top of that then you're spending a force the next turn to barrel roll away from it Okay. Um, it's, it's definitely a potential boom in zoom, whether you boom behind the obstacle or boom range one with the bullseye at them and then leave. Yeah. Either but, way. But you can look at it. Opportune shots. Yeah, exactly. You can look at it like a, you know, advanced world on torpedo. You get like a one, one time to do it. This one, you get one time to do it, then go and regenerate force a couple of times. So you get to do it. It's like a, like a reload effect mm -hmm. uh, where you're sh shooting your four five or six dice attack. Then you go and reload your force and set up another one. So all right. So uh, so the Ada the Ada potentially has a place still in the Republic. We just got to find what that build is. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sorry we got like so deep into it, but that's we'll, that's we'll, really we'll the one be, that we'll made be transitioning the change. into the to the next build that I have looked at in the next ship, Marcel. All right. Then uh, so we'll go with the Hawk. Uh, the initiative four with with the lat. down by three with the lat the, yeah the lat. The, the, the lat the hawk name on the lat <laughs> ship on ship went down by three points from fifty four to fifty one and warthog actually went down by two so I was surprised by this one uh, so warthog is which is the one that's used most often went down by two uh, hound went down by two and also the uh, generic two one two battalion went down by two uh, Ryan you were gonna Yep. So I think with the combination of the reduction of the Adas and the Lats and moderate spoiler incoming, the reduction of one point to seventh fleet gunner, you could look at also including that as not only a way to add dice to the Adas, whether you add trick shot or shattering shot, either one or both. Um, but then also add the utility of the rerolls that the fire conversions that the Lats have as well. So you could have a lat with three Adas flying around. That could be pretty effective. And Hound is pretty good as well if you want to uh, have them still fly through clouds and Hound could take a strain for them or have patience, potentially, if you decide to take that force power, use patience, take a, take a deplete, send it off to Hound, and then they're not depleted anymore, but they gain a force back. Yep, and the rerolls. 
Um, yeah, th 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 I think this is probably what we're going to see played most out of um, everything that got dropped. The Adas, I, I think, they have a place. Uh, so do the Delta 7s, but I think the lats going down um, are probably, you know, the Warthog for sure is probably going to see the most the most play out of this bunch, in my opinion. Um, the Nubu Fighters, Padme, Rick, Oli, and the Nubu Handmaidens all went down by one. Uh, I was surprised to see Rick go down, but I'm not going to argue. Uh, and then Danae Elberger, LRB. Well, um, Rick Rick went down, but advanced sensors went up. I knew, mean, yeah, 13 points, but not a lot of people. I mean, me, but uh, most people were just flying them either with regen alone or just or with Daredevil alone. I mean, you, like they were using you, them you as a very to, cheap. You had to recognize that I five and pre position though. So with with that, I mean, it's still a, a net up on him. So thir yeah, up three, but down two. So that build's more expensive. Yeah, they, 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 they specifically Dude. targeted Marcel. This right here, yeah, boom, Marcel one. plus one. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think a lot of people were flying advanced sensors at him because a lot of people were wrong. Um, <laughs> what? Continue. <laughs> and then you've got, let's see, Anakin stayed the same. That makes sense. And then Danae down by two. Uh, the name was already good. So him at 36, I think, I think he was a steal at 38. I think he's even more of a steal at 36. His ability is actually really good. Um, for those of you who, who don't remember while you defend or perform an attack, if the speed of your revealed maneuver is the same as the enemy ship, that ship's dice cannot be modified. Yep. And he pairs really well, really well with Rick because when he's, when Rick's, if you want to match Rick, you're usually probably doing a speed three, which means if you're going to match Rick, then you know you're going to suffer the consequences of the A. So, so they actually pair up pretty well. Um, let's see, and then the N Nimbus, the Dingus class B wings, went down across you, the board as well. V, v wings for anybody who who heard B, B to dubs. Go ahead. That's it, <laughs> Dingus. They're the dingus V wings. Um, got oddball went down by one. Uh, Tarkin went down by three, which is I think is great. Tarkin was probably the best. No, Click was the best, but Tarkin was pretty good too. Uh, Contrail down by one. Basically, all of them down by one. They, they're for... they're getting they're starting to get into uh, quad jumper territory. This these numbers are 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 slowly crunching down check it out oddball tarkin and click all 31 points yeah yeah i mean that's an oddball is i mean that's still in, two of these are still initiative fives three agility two uh and two i mean people laugh at the two die guns but two die guns are still two die guns you know they, they they still put out damage they still make you burn tokens um and they can carry bombs and their bombs things got cheaper as well like their um configurations to be able to add bombs got cheaper so so yeah, actually really with the v-wing that means with the increase of thermal detonators in two points is actually a net zero if you still wanted to equip besh and thermal detonators on any v-wing that went down one point or just so go one one, one point missiles. down with one point down, oh they can't they can't take missiles you mean concussion bombs yeah concussion bombs or seismic bombs and they're cheap. <laughs> yep. They're very cheap bomb carriers. And, and actually, concussion bombs uh, might actually work out really well for these guys because, um, again, keeping them, keep, keeping them light, keeping them, keep, keeping them cheap, keeping them light. They move around obstacles really well, and that's a huge area of denial if you can put them in some obstacles with some seismic bombs. Um, now, I got the next one. For anybody who plays with the hyperspace ring, it did go down three points. Of course, that is in epic battles only, but it's down to two points. Enjoy. Continue to the torrents. All right, so the torrents, oddball. Uh, they were not looking at an XY play, so they lowered it some more from 30 to 29. Um, kickback, 29 down by one point, Axe, Swoop, Tucker, all down by one. Basically, all of them down one point except the um, 
the two generics who, which stayed at 26 and 25 respectively um i you know it feels with like the entire all of the factions they're trying to prevent um like big sh- big swarms it looks like they're trying to make the galactic republic a swarmy um you know a swarmy faction just by by the way the points are going um and the v19s are really good ships uh they're they're pretty solid five hull and two agility for very low cost let's see and as far as the upgrades the art 2 c4 went down from five to three uh which one is that one r2 c4 let's yeah. take a look here R2C4, while you perf- Republic only, while you perform an attack, you may spend one evade to change one focus to a hit result. Okay, so this is the uh, Naboo uh, one. So the Naboo fighters all went down, and this went down as well. So maybe you can start seeing it. We, we really didn't see a whole lot of this one. I've never, um, I've never seen it. Not even know, once. But- but where where, 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 where uh, excuse me where it ends up working out is in something like Rick where Rick you know where you put Daredevil on Rick or something to let him you know move fast but still have an arc he moves fast and then he Daredevils he, he that still gives him a a mod so it's 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 a good a, it's really good on on Rick I believe um i don't know about the rest of them maybe anakin as well just because anakin has a, another mod uh mm. a native uh focus but anyway it's a really good way to guarantee two hits almost it's like advanced optics where you can keep your focus uh wait the evade is only on a focus result right That's yeah it, it changes your evade into a calculate essentially okay yeah, yeah still still good i mean right, anakin I can target lock and then have force and uh the evade for offense maybe Maybe. Uh, Rick. Let's call it Rick. That's a Rick upgrade. Then we've got the Q7 Astromech went from th- uh, from 4 to 3. I don't know what Q7 does. It's not R7. We were so talking about a- it where you can boost a barrel oh, on that's the obstacles. One that gets the okay, got it. Um, yeah, sure. The Oh, and here we go. The two configurations for the um for for the v wings went down three besh went from two to one that's the one that allows you to carry a bomb so now it's only one point and then the other one that almost nobody used the alpha 3b esk which is the one that allows you to spend two charges to um change the result of your critical hits to ion tokens if i'm not mistaken correct yep um which i don't think anybody uses but i mean i've I've experimented with uh, like marksmanship uh shadow squadrons but yeah it's Mm -hmm. pretty inconsistent on two attack dice and bombs are better bombs are better well i mean ionize because you can't bring both you can't ionize somebody and drop bombs well so the nice thing is i think people who have considered bringing the shadow with dedicated now just automatically have ask so if mm-hmm. there's ever mm-hmm. a situation, because it's zero, that you want to use it, it's an option now. You have to do that before you roll. Yeah, that, right? that's that's the it other is. part. That's the other. So problem. there's you very specific situations. I mean, so think about this: if if you're in a spot where, like, I know next turn is the last turn, I cannot kill the ship that's in front of me. But if I can put three ion to an ion or two ion tokens on it, I can either make Next turn a lot easier for me to kill them, or off the border on a rock. Depends on where it is, but ionization can be a game-changing effect. It could. It's, it's just, a great tool to have. There's available. no way to guarantee it. That's the problem, because you have for to sure. like get yes. yeah. And then um, yeah, from there we we we're going to the other configurations: Delta Seven and Calibrated. They uh, we already talked about Delta Seven. Calibrated also went up. Um, uh, that one did go up across the board. That one also went up for the high initiative ones as well. So they went out by an average of two. Um, well, the higher initiative ones by two. The lower initi- the mid initiative ones went up by one. Then let's see what which one else is worth talking about. 
the crew Ayala crew went down by two from 16 to 14. Uh, I think still, I don't know. She's really good, but she's really expensive too. She's the one that lets you uh, basically take a focus after coordinating or something like that. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, focus um, to coordinate. Like that's that her actual ability is very rarely used. It's usually just that focus to coordinate when we have seen it. Yeah. Yep. Still very powerful on RTG2 Y Wing. Is it? Mm hmm. Making yeah, I a guess. little coordinator out there, eight health coordinator with a turret. Yeah, but the problem is that the focus doesn't really do a whole lot for Y Wing. Oh, it's better than his calculate on offense. His other option is calculate. <laughs> <laughs> so, or not I mean... co and also not coordinate at all. <laughs> Or not be on the board and just pick <laughs> right. something better. <laughs> Fair. All right. Anyway, uh, so C3PL went down by one. Uh, C3PO is the one that allows you to, if I'm not mistaken, you can do something like spend a calculate to get an evade or something like that. When you're calculating, you can reroll your defense dice. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So it's, it's a defensive one. I remember I used it at one point. Uh, seven points still seems like a lot for it. Uh, Kit Fisto, I think this one is actually really good. It goes from 9 to 8, just because it's an 8-point force carrier. And I don't know what Kit does other than give you a force at 8 points, but that's a really... Uh, is that probably the cheapest force that you can get? Uh, yeah, because 7th uh, is 9 or 6. So. What's, what's yeah, the... Kylo went down to 9, so Kylo's at 9 now. Yeah, I Kit Fisto yeah. might be the cheapest, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I think I think the problem though with Kit Fisto is the the platforms in which he would be on. So essentially, it it is lat only. It doesn't say that on the card, but it, in the Republic, it essentially is lat or R two D two only. And Arc one seventy, Arc one seventy. So, I mean, yeah. The, this this this, this Kit Fisto going down by one is a direct buff to Oddball Arc, sir. That's true. What's the ability read, Dion? <laughs> yeah, pulled up there. Yeah, at the start of the engagement phase, you may choose one friendly ship at range zero to one and spend one force. If you do, it may perform a red evade action. It gives you one force that's recurring, and it also gives you the purple evade action available for the ship is carrying. Yeah, it's. I mean, the ability is is. Eh. I mean, it's it's useful at times, I guess. But more than anything, it's an eight point, uh, an eight point force carrier. I mean, force crew, which is great. And then you also have a nine point force crew. Plo Kloon went down from ten to nine. Now sits at negative one, and I don't use these cards at all. So obviously, I don't know what Plo does. I know what the Plo ship does. I'm assuming it does nothing Plo, like the Plo well, ship. Well, let's let's Plo's, let's go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead, John. So at the at the start of the end phase, if you are reinforced, you may choose one friendly ship at range zero or in your side arcs at range one. That ship removes one deplete or strain or repairs one face up damage card. Gives the purple reinforce action as well. Okay. Got it. I actually think this is really good, especially on the lats, because the lats have a red reinforce uh, and terrible blue maneuver. So this allows you to reinforce without getting stressed. So I think actually this is really good, especially on Warthog. Uh, and Warthog has the ability to get rid of depletes and strains as well. Repairs a face up. We know Adas don't like face ups. Yeah, so this is actually this is really good. So at nine points, actually, that seems like a really good buy. Um, Yoda coming in, coming down from fifteen to twelve points. And Yoda does after another friendly ship at range zero to three spends one or more zero to two one on one yep thank you <laughs> after another friendly ship at range zero to two fully executes a purple maneuver or performs a purple action you may spend a force if you do uh, that ship gains a force back so um, basically same as the ship just at zero to two but it also gives you the purple um, the purple Coordinate. Purple coordinate. coordinate. Thank you. And has two charges. Exactly. Two force charges, yeah. Um, for 12 points, I mean, think about it. You're, you're essentially playing six per force. So it's a really good ability. It gives you the coordinate. And then on top of that, it allows you to be in a, you know, support on ships that, you know, again, with the ETAs or ETAs or the 
you know, the any of the other ships uh, on the Jedi side, the Delta Sevens, the Aether Sprites. I, will we see this now? I mean, 12 points for two force and coordinate. Thing is that most of the, uh, all all of the crew carriers right now in Republic have an agility of one. <laughs> so investing more points into something that while can have a lot of base health, have the ability to be burned, and you will lose those points. You those ships are commonly getting halved, so that's MOV lost in these matchups. And the more points you put on it, the more points you lose. Now in the future. When we get that fancy new gauntlet fighter that has two agility and a lot of health, be aware of those force crew again. We might That's actually what I get was them. Thinking. Well, yeah, like, yeah. Once you put this these on a ship that can sustain being alive for a while, yeah. Yeah, because I, I I did the uh, the the durability math, and when it's just its base profile with no defensive modifications, it's as tanky as a base decimator without reinforce. When it reinforces on top of that, because it has access to red reinforce, it is more tanky than a reinforced decimator. Let me correct you. It has access to a purple reinforce. It can, you can if you take the Plo Koon one, mm -hmm. correct. There you go. And we already talked about the Seventh Fleet Gunner went down by one from nine to eight. Uh, Ryan mentioned that a little bit earlier. And again, for a total decrease in the points uh, to 77, basically almost everything went down here except the, the very low generic ones. Um, All right. Well, that <laughs> that wraps up our breakdown here of the Republic changes. We'll see how they end up impacting. Uh, real quick. Which for for each of us, which w one one pilot or crew that you think we might see more of because or sorry not uh, not crew uh, upgrade card that you think we might see more of with these changes, Ryan? Just one. Um, I'll go Seventh Fleet Gunner. Ryan, uh, Will. You went the other way this time on it. Yep. Um, I I want to say I mean I. I'm going to say Ada's without cannons. Does that count? That works they, for me. They're forced to not take cannons. In I, know, them, I know. I know. I that, don't That's a weird way to phrase it, but like new, new, new functioning Ada's. Yeah. 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 I don't think Ada's are just going to drop off because they lost their cannon. Um, I think we'll still see them in play. And Marcel. 100% Warthog. Everything went cheaper. Warthog helps things that are cheaper. And Warthog is cheaper. Could definitely be some V-Wing Warthog stuff. The March of the Hog. All right. So those of you who are watching live, let me actually let me go ahead and 